And we're starting India first this evening with a really, really big joke. Except nobody's laughing because this happens to be an extremely serious issue and it is certainly no joking matter. An anti-terrorism court in Pakistan on Thursday has issued an arrest warrant for banned jesh e mohammed chief and master terrorist Maulana Masood Azhar on charges of terror financing. Don't laugh yet, let me finish. The court has directed that Masood Azhar be arrested and produced in court tomorrow. Remember, the Jesh e Mohammed has claimed responsibility for the Pulwama terror attack that killed 40 CRPF soldiers. In May 2019, the United Nations, after a lot of dilly-dallying, including by terror-sponsoring countries like China, designated Maulana Masood Azhar a global terrorist. Imran Khan's government is under intense pressure from the global terror financing watchdog, the FATF, or Financial Action Task Force. The Paris-based FATF has placed Pakistan on the troubling grey list in June 2018 and asked Islamabad to implement a plan of action to curb money laundering and terror financing by the end of 2019. But the deadline has been extended after Pakistan has repeatedly begged the organization not to crack down and also because of the COVID-19 pandemic. But the big question is, will Masood Azhar, master terrorist responsible for the parliament attack, master terrorist responsible for Patan Court and Pulwama, will he face punishment or like early occasions be freed to continue enjoying the Pakistan government's hospitality while inside prison? Well, his colleague in the lashkar e taiba Zakiu Rehman Lakhvi was recently arrested. He even fathered a child from prison. So that's what prison for terrorists means in Pakistan. The world isn't laughing, but Pakistan is trying to hoodwink the terror financing watchdog. I want to go across to India today's Geeta Mohan breaking the story first here on India First. Uh, Geeta, you know, it's uh, uh, an understatement to say that this is just another sham arrest. Is there anything anything at all to believe that this is any kind of genuine crackdown action against a master terrorist or is this in only the latest, latest in a long list of actions by Pakistan to try and dodge the terror financing blacklist? Absolutely, it is not just to dodge, but to convince the FATF to pull uh, Pakistan off the grey list, Shiv. There is no doubt about that. But what is the bigger story over here is that will Pakistan be able to walk back on this one? Remember, Qureshi had once said that they are in touch and in contact with Masood Azhar. He received, he received a lot of flag because he finally had accepted and admitted to the fact that Masood Azhar indeed is present on Pakistani soil, after which the foreign office spokesperson came out back then it was uh, 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 the DG uh, the, uh, the DG South Asia uh, uh, he came out and said that uh, denied Masood Azhar's presence and since then Pakistan has been denying Masood Azhar's presence on Pakistani soil now with the admission that there is an arrest warrant the Jan 8th is the date by which the court has ordered uh, authorities to nab to arrest Masood Azhar, mm. can they walk back on this one after the FATF plenary? Now, that is an important question that, will, that we'll have to wait and see what Pakistan really does something about. And if not, then finally there is admission that uh, globally designated terrorist of, by the United Nations, Masood Azhar, yeah. mastermind in many an attack uh, against India, is indeed in Pakistan. Maulana Masood Azhar, uh, just to uh, refresh most people's memory, uh, was a prisoner of India. He was one of the terrorists who had to be released in uh, exchange for the hostages following the IC-814 hijacking in Kandahar. Uh, he founded the jaish e uh, He's a person who's orchestrated many terror attacks on India, including the 2001 uh, attack on India's parliament. He's been responsible for the Pathan Court terror attack. He's also uh, uh, had his hand in the Pulwama terror attack of 2019, which was followed by the Balakot airstrike. So this is a guy who orchestrates terror attacks, but is a coward himself because he's been a VIP protectee of the Pakistani deep state. He was in a hospital 
being protected by the Pakistan government in Rawalpindi for many, many months, but his current whereabouts are not known. He's supposed to be based in Bahawalpur, which is the headquarters of the JEM, but we don't know where he is right now. But a so-called anti-terror court in Pakistan wants you to believe that there is a warrant out now for his arrest. Colonel Rohit Dev is with me from Delhi. We also have Kamar Chima, who's a well-known Pakistani strategic affairs analyst. Welcome to you both. Geeta continues to stay with me. Colonel Dev, want to start with you. Uh, you know, we've just heard from Geeta. She says there's absolutely no reason to believe that this is any different from the other warrants we've seen. We spoke about Zakir Rehman Lakhvi a few days ago, a man who famously fathered a child while in, you know, so-called imprisonment in Pakistan on terror charges. What are you making of this one? Maulana Masood, is a, Masood Azhar is a big fish and the terror court has now issued a warrant for his arrest. Shiv. If we remember correctly, we were on your show yeah. and there was Gaurav that day as well. And Pakistan had declared uh, this terrorist to be missing mm. along with his associates and family. So how he's going to crop up tomorrow is also a mystery. So suffice to say, Pakistan has not only taken care of this particular terrorist, <laughs> but also handled the deep state and the terrorist me me mechanism of Pakistan very effectively. It's only in October last year when the FATF has extended by three months due to pandemic reasons uh, to it to come clean on the 27 counts, hmm. it is still short by six major counts which the FATF is looking at. Yeah. And FATF is going to come down very heavily probably in the month of February. China left Pakistan somewhere in May 19 uh, from this particular, you know, uh, shimozal of a terrorist network being run hmm. and gave in to us, uh, that terrorist being labelled as a global terrorist. I'm hmm. not purposely taking his name. I don't give credit to terrorist names. Hmm. The other one was caught a few days back and arrested is also a sham. Yeah. That person is something which even a country like US is trying to uh, you know, pursue for a long time. Yes. And, and also been a terrorist who has done actions and funding for mm. countries in Bosnia, Afghanistan, Southeast Asia and, and many others. So this is a total uh, global network which runs out of Pakistan to a large extent, yeah. funded by China. And there is a couple of more countries with no names currently who are also getting into it with Pakistan. Uh, you know, so this particular yeah, gentleman yeah. whom we call terrorist hmm. and who is actually a, a very, very big, big slap on Pakistan's own uh, security mechanism, hmm. where at one hand they say he's, he's not available and traceable. On the other hand, a puny court has taken out a judgment hmm. to get him arrested. Now, I don't and even, I will be, I don't even I will, find any credence in the court, to be honest, Colonel Dev. You know, in, in Pakistan, institutions just, are just, questionable. They all they all work just at the behest mirage, of the deep state. Absolutely. It's a, it, it's a big mirage and, uh, uh, you know, no pun intended, because after all, it was mirages that uh, did the bombing in Balakot, which has something to do with the JEM. But Kamar, you know, See, I, I can, I'm not going to ask the obvious questions, which is, you know, this is a sham, etc. But I think it's time to admit, I think it's time to admit, Kamar, that these arrests that happen, these so-called arrests that happen, this is to game the system with the FATF. Let, let's not kid ourselves. Let's be gentle, gentlemen about it and admit that this is not about cracking down on a terrorist. This is not about taking action against a terrorist, uh, you know, using the legal route. This is basically <coughs> turning a few keys here and there in order to meet some minimum compliances so as to try and get off the terror financing grey list. Come on. Well, uh, thank you very much. Uh, I think uh, what has happened is that uh, these people were liability for Pakistan. And I think this is a great news for Pakistan today that all those those people who have been involved in such kind of activities, they must be uh, behind the bars. One thing. The second thing is that uh, since last 15, 18 years, Pakistan has uh, uh, fought enough against war against terrorism. So mm -hmm. we definitely don't need um, any kind of credentials and certificates that we have not done enough. We have done enough, but definitely uh, J and many other organizations which were involved in jihad in uh, Indian occupied Kashmir. I think the global status has changed. Things have changed. And now I think the Pakistan state has your, realized that the government uh, in Pakistan Kamar said, as Colonel Dave pointed out, the, your, people who are the government, the government has pointed the out they don't even know where he is. They don't even know where he is. Listen, listen, they will find it out where he is. If uh, I think the charges have been framed, uh, the, the, uh, the, the police is searching him. So definitely... Uh, it's not difficult for Pakistani authorities uh, if they want to have someone. If look at the charges, track record. Come on, look bars. at the track record. Half a look at the bars. track record. You know, you're saying, I, 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 I know you're being gracious. It's a good thing. You're saying that it's a good thing that these guys who are involved in terrorism are behind bars. 
But look at the track record. You know, I would believe you. I would shake your hand if if if, if you if if you know if this was genuine. Look at the times when Zakir no. Rahman Lakhvi has been arrested. Look at the time when Hafiz Mohammad Saeed have been arrested. These guys have lived a normal life. Either they were in house arrest or they were arrested for a temporary time. Zakir Rahman Lakhvi obviously got to meet his wife. He fathered a child while he was in prison, and now he's looking well, for an excuse. Chef. Chef, the important point is that we are not doing it for India. So don't try to portray as if it nobody is for India. Nobody said, nobody said. We are not responsible to India. Uh, but let me tell you. But come on, come on. No, no, come on, come on. One second. Zakir Rahman, Lakhvi, Jaya, Dhruv, all those that. people, all those people who are behind bars. This is to set the record straight, and I think this is the beauty in Pakistan system. The courts have given no, them. I'll tell, I'll tell you what's and, beautiful. And I think this is what we need Let's to appreciate. Let's put Geeta on the screen. We I... fought wars. We. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what's beautiful. Geeta, Geeta, correct me if I'm wrong. You know, Kamar is being very defensive and saying we are not doing this for India. Am I wrong in saying, Geeta, that most of the FATF actions that are being taken against Pakistan are the result of India's diplomatic energies? Well, absolutely, uh, not just India, 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 and India's allies. What France, nonsense, Kamar? United States of America, UK included, uh, Shiv have yes. really helped. Have ahead, really helped the entire process, uh, but let me just say that it is absolutely fascinating and great to have Kamar Chima on our channel because every time he comes, he has a revelation. The fact that he says that JEM leaders, uh, Maulana uh, uh, Masood Azhar, terrorist Masood Azhar, today has become a liability, yeah. only goes to show and means that they were once an asset, mm. and that certainly is fascinating that Kamar Chima can come out That's as what. Out Come what on. is not to be told is what Kamar Chima says out in the open. So, so, so he, he, they are now a liability. But yeah. I'd like to ask Kamar one thing. Foreign Minister Qureshi had to face a lot of flag for having accepted that he, his administration, is in touch with Masood Azhar. To the extent that the Foreign Office had to come out and deny mm. uh, the, the statements of the Foreign Minister of Pakistan. Uh, today, there is an arrest warrant and acknowledgement that Masood Azhar indeed is in Pakistan, on Pakistani soil, Kamar. What do you have to say about the duplicitous nature when it comes to how Pakistan has Great handled question. these Answer terrorists. That. So don't tell Answer us that, that you've really fought uh, terrorism. Listen, listen, the point is that be it Hafasaid or be it Azhar, they have always been liability and I have said it openly on every uh, platform, mm -hmm. one thing. Mm -hmm. The second thing is that the Pakistani state have been you fighting all these anyway. people. Listen, if Hafasaid is behind bars, this is because of the efforts of the state. If Azhar is going to be no, found and be no. tried in the Pakistani court, that is the effort Coming of the Pakistani you, state. Dave, so don't this. don't try to portray as if this is a huge Indian diplomatic <laughs> victory. This is Pakistan's no, effort the, to fight terrorism, but, and this is Pakistan's effort to eliminate all those is, elements which are a liability this is, this is, for the state of Pakistan. Sir, all know, these people were liability. I don't know why. We're, we're See, putting them behind the bars. Is, the thing There's is, no other way. One second, I, Colonel Dev, I want to bring you in on this, and after that, Geeta. You know, I don't know why you're dancing around and saying, you know, uh, India shouldn't feel happy. This is not because of India. Are, India has never danced around and said, you know, look at you guys on the grey list. You know, the foreign office is very dignified about this. You know, the diplomacy that India does is, is done very quietly, sir. The, the diplomacy that India does behind the scenes to rally support against Pakistan is done quietly. It's not done with, the, you know, with a suicide vest. Colonel, Colonel Dev, this is... Yeah. I mean, uh, three, what, what three explains this defensiveness? So what if India is not responsible, See, even though that's incorrect? Shift, shift, shift three points. Just give me some time. Yeah. The first point is the admission of Kamar Chima, who, while trying to be so diplomatic Liability. and so suave, has actually revealed to, to us on your channel tonight that Pakistan has been harboring terrorists, whichever be the module, and pumping in no. terrorists into Kashmir. You may call it whatever, it is Kashmir. Hmm. So that's an admission from Kamar Chima. So Musharraf to Kamar Chima, everybody is saying that they are propagating terrorism <laughs> into our country. Hmm. You did ask the question about how India should feel. His own guilt and the pressure in Pakistan that India has staged a diplomatic coup right from the time when the dozier was presented to even China by late Shushma Swaraj hmm. till date, it has been so offensive yeah. in the UN, in the FATF, that they are running short of support and India's no surge in diplomacy has been able to pull out the long-standing holder of their hand, yeah. China also. So these are the two facts which Kamar Chima has you know, probably said on his own volition. I only want to say one more point. Don't take it amiss, uh, Kamar Chima. There's a saying, commit the R, commit the man. In Pakistan, it is commit the R and run it, uh, uh, no, the, the, the Pakistanis. 
why are you running at the 11th hour yeah. to try no, no, to plug in just, a gap just with before the, the FATF. Yawning on the face. Correct, correct. You That's are going to be scrutinized in one month. You arrest one chap five days early. No. You arrest the other terrorist also, now also, or call for him. You know, also, All the while you are saying he's not there. I have you another point. You are going to be called out. I have a, I, I want, to, want to add a layer to what you're saying, Colonel Dev. And let's put Geeta on the screen because, you know, I'm going to ask Geeta to add to this after Kamar's Chima response. I mean, Kamar, you're saying that, you know, India, in, uh, you know, uh, India is not responsible for this. Who else has Maulana Masood Azhar harmed? Which other country has he harmed apart from India? He's so all he's, his, he's, a, he's all, a global terrorist based his, on Indian dossier for his, that reason itself. Correct. All his terror Listen. energies, the Jaish e Mohammed itself may be, you know, doing a lot of terror activities elsewhere in Pakistan. It is the, it's, well, the violence of the JEM is pointed at India. So who do you think is, is being responsible? Taken to kill who do you think Bhutto is responsible Listen. for pressure on Pakistan, even if it's a Listen. sham arrest? The, the Pakistani armed forces have killed thousands of the terrorists in last these few years. And your own people. For India. Listen, Let's listen, not my get friend. Into that. Come we on, come on. That's all the point. Of the people. We have eliminated many terrorist you've organizations. Killed, you've killed. We have eliminated you've killed, many militants. You've killed in the last Balochi few rebels. You've, you've killed, killed civilians. You've 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 killed The only so, country that the only India country not even in consideration the, on India, that. the only country the only country that speaks in the same voice as you is China I don't need to say anything about China given how 2020 has been and and a third point and then you can answer Kamar and then I'll bring Geeta in is even China even China which has blood on its hands courtesy its relationship with your country could not bear the pressure could no longer justify defending Correct. Uh, Maulana Masood Azhar not being a globally designated terrorist in the UN. Who do you think was responsible for that? Was it Kazakhstan? Was it Mauritania? Was it Malta? Was it Sri Lanka? Was it uh, you know was it Azerbaijan, sir? That was putting pressure on China. Well, Who do you I think, think it was? Pakistan. Listen, I think Pakistan, China, America, and other partners with the Pakistan, we together decided that all those people who have been a liability <laughs> and they created law and order Don't situation must be eliminated. Kamar, you have a we second career as a comedian or a what satirist. What are you saying, Kamar? We did with Kamar? the Chinese together. We this is bizarre. Americans listen, well. listen. Pakistan did not go to FAT to say, tie oh, my Mr. hands. Kerner, Pakistan Kerner, never did it. This is not for you. Come on, come on, what are you saying? Did Pakistan go to UN and say, I am having you global terrorism. I want to sort them out. Please now penalize me. There's an irony here. In, in, in the front channel, what are you saying? Let me bring Geeta in. Let me bring Geeta in. You have been snapped financially by India. Look, look, okay. You know, feel the pain. We have snapped you financially. Feel the pain. What's happening in Balochistan, Pakistan is because of your deep strength. So don't forget, you are a country which is sponsoring terrorism. I don't know why. What are you saying? Come on. You know, you've said it four times on the show that this is not for India, this is not for India, this is not for India. You know, not that I didn't think otherwise, but you are confirming to us that this is definitely for India because Correct. nobody else could have made this, <laughs> uh, you know, brought this pressure on you. It's not India asking you directly. We've sent you umpteen dossiers. Geeta probably even has a number of the number of dossiers we've sent you on uh, Maulana Masood Azhar. But Geeta, you know, keeping that aside, you know, let's let's keep that aside because we can all be in agreement here at least on this side of Pakistan. that the the this is a sham arrest this is only for compliance purposes but how is the indian government seeing it uh, you know there will be a sense of uh, there will be a sense of uh, satis some satisfaction some small satisfaction that diplomatic energies are you know bringing some pressure on pakistan even if it is for a sham arrest but it is also a reminder is it not geeta that anti terror actions in pakistan mean nothing and they still mean nothing after all these years Well, uh, in fact.
fact, the only satisfaction that the Indian administration or certain officials I've been speaking to have is the fact that there is acknowledgement that mm. Masood Azhar is in Pakistan and that the, the, that the anti-terror courts have ordered his arrest by Jan 8. Beyond that, there is absolute realization that this is to get off the grey list. Totally. And for India, it is going to be a Herculean task with other countries now to convince the international community that these arrests, that these acknowledgements are all a sham. Yeah. So there is no satisfaction India draws with these sham arrests because unless and until there is intent, yeah. unless and until Pakistan stops <coughs> with the good terrorists, bad terrorists and starts looking at all terrorists alike, yeah. this is a problem shift for India and India draws no satisfaction with any such order given that it only yeah. makes India and its allies I'm, I'm uh, work tougher. In Paris. I, I'm very glad you clarified that, uh, Geeta. When I said satisfaction, I'm glad you clarified that there is no satisfaction because this is a this is a validation of the fact that India, unlike Pakistan and China, is not a banana republic or a dictatorship. We don't celebrate, uh, you know, silly cosmetic things that other countries do in order to try and stay off these diplomatic blacklists. But Colonel Dave, I want to ask you a slightly. I want to zoom out just a little bit to ask you a bigger question. Pulwama happened in Feb 2019, sir. Then right. you, you saw Balakot happen, there were plans to bomb Bhawalpur, etc. I don't want to get into the military strategy and stuff, that's, a, that, that's for a different day. But since then, th there were even reports in the Pakistani media. I mean, you don't have to believe us. Okay, fine, we are liar media in India. Pakistani media reported that Maulana Masood Azhar was in a hospital, in a you know, military hospital in Rawalpindi or wherever it is, one of those places. And, you know, from there, from being a VVIP protectee there, to then being globally designated a terrorist, to now being, you know, having a, you know, a non-bailable warrant against him for his arrest. I mean, who else is responsible for this but India, sir? It's been less than two years since Pulwama. See, uh, two things, Shiv. You trace back the uh, antecedents of Pakistan's actions against terrorism from Osmana bin Laden being, you know, being the safe, safe house in Pakistan next yeah, to a military 2011. Quarter. To the time that this incident happened in Pathan Court and this chap was missing after the attacks in Balak Court. <coughs> you, you are right, yeah. the int reports also suggest the same. You imagine what handle is Pakistan giving to the world community hmm. by actually saying on the world platform that we do harbor terrorists, we do give them safe heavens. And unless it comes to a point that we are you know, yearning for bread with a begging bowl, we will not disclose it. So if you see even this particular terrorist and the previous one Kano, arrested five days back, they were all available to Pakistan's notice. Their addresses and locations were known, whereabouts were known. Pakistan has kept them safe. It's only now it is announcing them to be arrested for the FATF clearance to be given by February this year. So if you see, it's actually not working in Pakistan's favor. Had they captured him then, had they captured him June, July last year, and then taken legal action till now, the world would have taken notice. But, Even the US has said uh, two days ago. But this after is the, the but this is but this is the biggest irony. They will isn't monitor. It, sir? They will monitor his uh, dispensation of justice. But I but, so but that where is, is the, the world intent? does not trust. Where is the that intent? does not trust. Where is and the... India is one of the key proponents which has given all those years to FATF and UN. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It has many, many, Mr. many. Sayyid not Akarbudin just against JM, but also now, against Hafiz Mohammed Zaidi. They have worked very hard to present facts. Geeta, you know, wh where is the intent? I, 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 this, is a, this I genuinely want to ask because, you know, we are not a rara channel that, you know, celebrates and chest thumps about certain things. We call out what it is. Ultimately, you know, there is pressure. They have to issue these warrants. This guy has to yes. have a sham arrest, etc., Geeta. But at the end of the day, the world has failed to, you know, really sort of pin down Pakistan to take real action against these terrorists. And that's a reality that cannot be ignored. Well, that's right. And like uh, the colonel said over here, if the action was taken a while ago, there would have been some time for uh, for, for to see action by, uh, by Pakistan against Masood Azhar. Mm. Uh, the plenary, the next session of the FATF is in February. It's very close for Pakistan to, or for the international community to believe Pakistan that they're doing it for a real intention, real intent, rather than just cosmetic actions uh, to prove something to the FATF. But imagine tomorrow is Jan 8th, and if 
Pakistan actually shows intent and arrests Masood Azhar. We'll be seeing the man after years of him remaining in hiding. That in itself is going to be a huge thing. We'll have to see how Pakistan walks back on this one because it doesn't seem like while Kamar Chima wants to believe that Masood Azhar has become a liability, it doesn't seem so given that the infiltrations that continue from the jaish e mohammed the attacks that are being planned by the jaish e mohammed are all part of masood azhar's uh, uh, terrorist organization and so that's uh, that's the reason why uh, uh, according to me for pakistan jem still is an asset and hardly a liability and one that directs its energies only against india which is absolutely all advantage uh, pakistan when you've invested so much in an asset how can it ever become yep. a liability is the point yep. i'm 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 out of time 20 tomorrow, seconds 20 seconds yeah tomorrow Aldif. tomorrow they might pick up an <laughs> imposter of a terrorist be careful pakistan is very 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 it's happened before that. it's happened before <laughs> anyway you know we will see we'll see what happens tomorrow kamar, kamar. you are laughing as if you're not going to catch him kamar <laughs> you know you are always in kamar, you must catch him. Land saying whatever you want kamar, to you say 20 seconds, say. Kamar, 20 seconds please colonel colonel let me tell you we have yeah, we have given so much sacrifices in war against terrorism and the world recognizes this we do not care what india says and what india thinks okay. so keep okay. that in mind okay we we'll, we'll, right. we'll keep that in mind and we'll tremble in our bones good while you arrest good and let's see what happens terrorist bad terrorist <laughs> good kamar, terrorist, good bad terrorist. terrorist bad terrorist okay <laughs> Oh, Kamar, you are good, but it was a giveaway today. Guys, thank you, thank you so much, Colonel Dev, Kamar Chima, Geeta <laughs> Mohan. Always a pleasure. Thank you so much for being with me here on India First. Hi everyone, Preeti Chaudhary here. Hope you like this video. For latest news and analysis, like and subscribe to the India Today YouTube channel, and don't forget to press the bell icon to stay updated. Thank you for watching.